Greetings of love, peace and joy to all of you. And in a very special way, I thank my God Almighty for having given me this beautiful opportunity to address each one of you. I thank God specially for the privilege given to me by His Excellency Archbishop Peter Machado. I, Sister Jessie de Souza, from belong to the adorers of the blood of Christ, Bangalore, and I am here before you with my theme, Loving Our Dear Neighbour in Our World Today. During my school days, I was taught a number of songs and hymns, and one of my favourite hymns is this, which I would like to sing to you. Love it was that made us, and it was love that saved us. Love was God's plan when He made man. God's divine nature is love. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, God's divine nature is love. And we are saved because of love. We are made because of love and out of love and we are planned in God's love. So who are we? We are nothing but love. During this time of pandemics, when the whole world was grouping in darkness, fear and chaos, and everyone's heart was drooping with a lot of doubts and perplexities, it is during this time we see that many of the NGOs came forward to reach out to the vulnerable and the marginalized part of the society. It is during this time people started giving and instilling hope in one another. During this time people started maintaining social distance. People started giving and taking things by sanitizing. People started using masks and also staying indoor at home to keep one another safe. This is a beautiful example of love. It's during this time of pandemic, I really wish to thank the doctors, the nurses, all the health workers. We are indeed grateful to them because they have been role models to each one of us. They toil day and night to save life, to restore health and this has been another wonderful example for us to experience the Good Samaritans in our society, not forgetting the police who brought about the rules and regulations to help us, to guide us, to protect us, to save from mass operations. And I, at this time, I think about the Good Samaritan parable. We see three individuals coming, crossing the road, but it was only the Good Samaritan who came forward to reach out to the man who was torn apart by the robbers. And today, who are the people who have been torn apart because of this pandemic? And how are we reaching? And who is a Good Samaritan? A Good Samaritan is one who is compassionate a compassionate person, a person with unselfish way of helping others. If one member suffer, all the members suffer. So there are ways and means we can reach out to our marginalized and vulnerable people of our society today. I think we can do a lot even to be sensitive to the elders by offering them seeds, bringing groceries for them, even speaking words of hope and encouragement during this time of pandemic. And to the youngsters for whom the routine has been changed, the shift, the transition is very difficult at this moment of pandemic. I think kind words, ways and means to bring about a lot of change and growth can take place by making them to understand and instilling hope through different ways of using media and to the teenagers in a very special way. 
giving them special time to speak to them, to love them, to understand them is the need of the hour. In the readings by St. Paul to the Romans speaks about in the chapter 14 verses 7 speaks about none of us lives for ourselves that means we are responsible in every way for the lives of the others book of Genesis speaks about am I my brother's keeper in verse chapter 4 verses 9 again in the St. Paul's letter first letter to the Corinthians chapter 12 verses 26 speaks if one member suffers rest of all the members also suffer along with him keeping this in mind we also think and reflect about how am i going to be a loving neighbor in my world today especially during this time of covid how am i going to be a good samaritan in my small ways of kindness whoever claims to love god and yet hates his brother as a liar. For whoever does not love their brother and sister whom they can say can never love God. John 4, chapter 4, verses 20 to 21. I end this moment of my session by saying, Use your freedom to serve one another. From St. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5, verses. 13.